What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, and Villa Pinatrilla, really going back up and starting the reload. I'm not really planning on doing much today. I'm just kind of. I'm really just grinding. That's what this is. I'm just grinding. I just really felt like getting a lot of levels, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get a lot of levels. I'm chilling on my bed! I might not even need to make it. I might. Yeah, Kiri Joe's dead. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. What will it be? What is it? What would you like? What would you like? Kuzumaru. What would you like? What would you like? I want a Kuzumaru! Shut up! She is so attractive. Glancing at the car. <laughs> <sighs> oh snap. Oh snap. We're back in the story. I Bob's been sitting here grinding the game. I forgot I forgot there was story. What am I drawing? Why is this? Oh God. What? <gasps> it's been a while. That voice. Why are you still alive? I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. I could have swore y'all died. What the heck? Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jidori, hurry it up. Mandia, let's go. Why are they still alive? Why aren't they dead? They're supposed to be dead. They're supposed to be dead! Ah, oh, my goodness. I can't take this anymore. I'm done. I'm... I'm done. All right, let's go. I got a new strategy. I'll tell Chidori all about our school trip. We're bound to get closer after that. Or at least I think so. I'm not really confident it'll work out though. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. She gone. If you wanna go ahead, she dipped out on you, bro. She ain't want nothing to do with you. She said, that Junpei guy, he's so weird. Uh. I don't ever wanna talk to him again. And then she just left, bro. Dance, if you wanna go ahead, you need to do whatever. I'm chilling on my bed. Yo, Monk. Oh, you're here again? <laughs> really are not good. Well, take a seat. Ha ha ha. You're late. I was just thinking about leaving. You're coming here a lot too, huh? Are uh, you alright, kid? You know, financially, paying for the drinks here. High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least, I never gave much to my son. I am not struggling, alright? I am not struggling. I have enough. I'm good. You know. <laughs> Guess you kids have ways to make money these days. The boy on grind mode. Illegal, though. Are you a kid? I'll be selling. Not that I can. Crack. I'll be hitting him with way, that fence. Let me ask you. Is there anything you want right now? And I mean something you can buy with money, money cars, and hoes. Like love or a sense of humor. Money, cars, and hoes. Nah. Don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. Man, all we worried about. I was a young man. I never had enough money to buy the things I wanted. All we want right now is to get rid of these shadows, bruh. I doubt Makoto's worried about nothing else. When you get to be my age, well, 
Try thinking about it this way. You work to make money so you can have a better life. But to make enough money, you gotta work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what the average lifetime income of a white-collar worker is? Including a retirement fund and an annual pension. It's 250 million yen. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today. Is that a lot? Now, don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. It's words are hard, but I feel it's kindness. There was nothing harsh about what he said. Makoto, what are you on about? You think everything he says is harsh? I worked my ass off for a lousy 250 million yen. And for what? So that's not a lot of money. I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. I guess it's not a lot of money. It certainly sounds like it should be up. Oh, here goes the dark hour. All right. But this is Sorry to wake you. What's up? Um, I I'm not sure how to say this, but you need to go to the fourth floor and please hurry. What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. <sighs> They're still alive. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Those bastards! Just take y'all out! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? It's Shidori. No, she's... She's inside. <laughs> What's wrong? Long time no see. Shidori? She hijacked the transmission? What the heck? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. Chidori, we will clap you up. Don't play. Does she really think she can whoop us? Okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! Calm down! It was a question! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! Oh my goodness, we can't let him go alone. This is almost certainly a trap, but it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. You know who the squad is. You know who the squad is, right? All right, let's go. Yes. Commence operation. Operation Murder Chidori. What the heck is this? That's not Tartarus. Chidori, what's going on? Talk to me. <sighs> Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart. And I've done a lot of stupid things. But this... This is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Junpei-kun, look out! Oh, good... Yo! Hey, what? That was close. You could have killed someone there. Why does she have an axe? What the freak? Yori. Why? She said I was trying to. 
Get back, Junpei. Talking won't solve anything now. We gotta kill her. Dangerous. We gotta kill her, and then we can talk to her, okay? I know how you feel, Junpei-kun, but please, just back up. Medea. Where I belong. I've known that from the start. Chidori! What the hell's gotten into you? Get ready. Go away. Stop that! Uh, Alright. I'm still setting up. What to do? It'll take a little more time. So concentrate with him. I have to do this. I have you healed. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I was careless. What's the plan here? So let's see what ice does. Does ice do anything? No, nah, not really. Alright. Let's see what piercing does. Okay, decent. Takaya was right. You're all just a nuisance. Get ready. Mid damage, mid damage, mid damage, mid damage, mid damage. Uh Try dark damage, why not? Let's see what dark does. Okay, it does decent. Well I was I was kinda concentrating, so it makes sense. I guess me I guess you is gonna be healing this whole time. You just go on and concentrate. I guess she can do whatever she feels like for now. Considering the fact that we're not gaining the urgy, I guess we're not really supposed to do anything for this fight. This fight isn't really going to be no crazy on nothing. This pain is nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. This is nothing. What is she healing? I don't feel that. I knew it. How much damage can you do on her? Not a lot. You stick to healing. What's the plan here? Get that damage, girl. Come on, we know you have good in your heart. Come on, come join us or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Jope, come on, chat her up. Words are gonna work now. You gotta now you can use your word. Hey, it's like ah! Alright, uh, I see what it is. Okay. Megalodon! Megalotron! Let's see if you wanna talk after this. Yeah! Now, let's see if you want to talk after that. You don't want to talk. I'm about to hit you with a Megalodon. You freaking you jerk. What's the plan here? Concentrate. What is optimal? This is my Increase everyone's attack. Because next time she get hit with this Megalodon, it's going to be wraps. Is she dying? There we go. We, we fixed. We got it. Shinori! I told you. Don't touch me. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. But 
I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's understandable, yeah. That's understandable. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. Oh, that's sad. That sense. What is it? It's the others from Straka. They just walk through a door? How did they? Bastards. You just don't know when to give up. <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Yeah, what became of it is the same thing we did to y'all. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! Ah. I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. You got lucky. That's it. I'm not letting you do this to her anymore. I'll protect Chidori. With my life! Junpei. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Yudori, on. come with me. Hold on. Don't stay with these guys. Hey, hey, hey! Put that down! Put that down! Junpei, look out! Hey, Black Frost! They tripping, right? Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, what? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh huh? I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear? My heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. What's going on? And for the first time in my life, I... Oh, Junpei's dreaming. I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? Yeah, Junpei's dreaming. I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. Yeah, this is too just out of nowhere. This has to be a dream, an illusion. I, um, uh, I, I want to be with you too. But it could never last, and it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? I. What? Junpei-kun! 
Jun? Junpei! It's her persona. Does it have the power to bestow life? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait! If she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <laughs> Media? Diorama? So it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. Madame. Madame. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. Yeah, same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on! <laughs> this might be all I ever need. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! I love you. Jubei. Thank you. <laughs> Say something, please. <sighs> Chidori! Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. <laughs> it's over for them, bro. I, I swear. <laughs> I promise y'all, bro. I promise. I promise y'all. It's, it's over for them. As soon. Oh my goodness, bro. We need to stop this whole no killing crap. Because next time we fight, it's off. They're dead. I, I, I promise you they're going to die next time. I promise you next time we scrap it's over with, bro. I, I can't take this anymore. Y'all, I, I hate you! I hate you and your little dick rider over there, bro. Meaningless. Bro. Hey! Hmm. I had so much she has so much potential, bro! She could have been oh, she could have been such a fantastic character! It's a shame she had to stop right here, man. Ah, oh, man. Bro, Junpei maxed out that social link. Hold on. Junpei's persona Hermes became one with Chidori's persona Medea. They gave rise to Triz Megastus. <laughs> yeah, it's over for you. It's over for you. Get ready to die. Medea? Get ready to die. Burn in hell. Burn in hell! My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Agario! Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. 
I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Nah, cause y'all ops now. We gotta deal with y'all. Y'all are officially opposition. Trusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. <sighs> Chidori. Chidori. I. I. Oh God, this is so hard. Dang. It's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Everyone was silent as we walked back to the dorm together. No one could find the right words to say to Jun. Don't say nothing. Here y'all go with this happy music telling me to do social links as if I'm supposed to just casually move on from what just happened like it was nothing. I'm about sick of y'all. Atlas. Atlas. What kind of sick joke are y'all trying to pull by, by trying to have me be all like this and do social links after somebody just died? I'm not happy enough to be doing this. What is your issue, Atlas? What is your issue, Atlas? Sega? Persona 3 Reload? I got the freaking... Uh, I have it available, so I'm gonna just do it. I don't... I'm not even in the right... I'm not even in the freaking proper... She's not logged in. Thank God. Oh, go my gosh. I'm running a little late, Albert. I was on the phone with my mom. Whenever we talk, it's always the same. All she cares about is marrying me off to some dude. Why is it her problem? You'll need a boyfriend first, gang. I'm taking my time. No need to rush. Half the population is male, right? I'll be fine. Play it. What? It's sexist to think women can only be happy when they're tied down. The other night, I got a little drunk and kind of passed out of Polonia. Then this old dude was like, you'll never get a man looking like that. I told him to shut up. Dang it. Oh, God, I got off topic. I guess I'm a little tired. I do feel better now. Here, Tati, this is for you. A heal potion. There was no effect. Oh, I guess your HP was already full. Lamaune. This is infuriating. How funny is that, huh? How ironic is that? She said the stupid lemonade, and in a, in a fit of fury, I crushed the can of lemonade. Thanks for listening to all my talk. Uh, she's opening up to me. I don't want her to open up to me. Go in and close. Look at this man enjoying her, bro. I ain't look like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I already know I'm listening to that song when it come out, though. You know that old lamer I told you about? He was hanging around Polonia, so if you see him, don't be nice. I saw him on his weird TV show, too. Oh, is that Tonica? That might be how I get the, um, what you call it? The autograph. I can't get over it, bro. I'm genuinely pissed off. Like, 
I'm genuinely pissed. Like, I, I, I just want smoke. I genuinely just want smoke right now, man. That's it. I just want, I want death and destruction. Nothing, I, there's nothing I can do that feels right after that. Everything I think about doing just feels wrong. Take place over the next four days. Iwato die, wild duck burger. Good morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. For the next four days, I'll be helping out with cleaning. I worked hard to get used to the job. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Can I ask you to shut your mouth? Who are you? Toma Cheek is in front of the restaurant. Bro, what is your problem? Oh, hey, uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Why are you here? Well, you know, just psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean, being on time is like the bare minimum job requirement, right? As my prospects are looking pretty grim, I overslept like hell. Uh, Nobody's ever gonna hire you. Damn it! Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? Oh, no, nothing I can do. Cry about it. Well, yeah, but come on, you gotta help. Now sit there and you piss your pants. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework. So I'm smarter than you. Fine, bro. Because I'm a cool dude, bro. You my life, man. I'm a cool dude. I like to help people out, so I'm gonna help you out this one time. Just hop on in there and grab. Shut up. Oh, there you are. Working hard. Or hardly working. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. This Toriyumi is bad. I like her face. Case, I like her hair like too. You two are doing just. Uh, Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez, first someone skipping out and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. Shut up. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. I'm just as disappointed as she is. You're going to go apologize right, right now. now. Wait, now? I I need to gather. No, go apologize. And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh. Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. 
Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I'm already pretty late as it is. Hurry up! And it is all my fault. Yes, it is. Now hurry up! If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Talk to him! Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Talk to him. Well, here I go. See you later. Shut up. Get going. <sighs> put a stick. Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? Why? Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. <sighs> he has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Man, it's a shame, bro. Like, they think Iori just, like, being lazy and stuff, but he just lost, like, he just lost, like, the person he loves. It's a shame. Oh, there you are. Who are you? Who is this? This bum! Hey! Shut up! Are oh, you looking pretty good? I would have thought you've been working here for years. I'm in too bad of a mood to be dealing with you! How may I help you, bro? Hi, I like to place an order. <laughs> Looks like you've got the routine down. Maybe though, how are you full I'm being out? serious. I'm not here to conversate with you. Either order something to get out. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. Uh, what's up? Why are you acting like that? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing really. I'm only asking in case it's like one of my, like, uh, like freaking I guess is tripping or something. I don't care about him. If you don't mind. No, uh, no, we talk for a no, when you're done? no, no. Hey, manager says to take your break. Dear Lord. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? Get him out. I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... He got fired. He got fired. So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Your sworn enemy. I pull hoes. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. We got time. Saying it should be working? They said I should take my break now, too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. And don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along. I don't even say that. Or something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei-kun. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? You should ask him. Yeah, I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> okay, look, I know I've been hating on him since he first showed up, 
But I'm confused. Why are you hating on him? He didn't say anything bad. He's like, like, like at this moment, for the first time since he showed up, I was thinking to myself, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe he's not bad. And then, Ken see, this is why me and Kenji, this is why I hate Kenji, bro. This is why I, can, I cannot deal with Kenji. Because when I start thinking, maybe this character isn't that bad, Kenji starts hating on them. When I'm hating on them, Kenji thinks the character's cool. What's your what, opposites? I hate you, Kenji. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? What's the issue? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Kill him. Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? Yeah. He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. I can hit her with a media. I can call you car for a, a quick little um a meter shower or whatever it's called. So don't worry. I'm sure Yori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika kun Oh crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei Kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Yeah, that's my bro. That's my bro. <laughs> I know I'm the one who asked, but I feel a little awkward hearing that. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Cry about it. I never really had someone like that before. You might get a best friend if you stop acting like a freaking weirdo and stop hitting on girls every five seconds, you know? Seeing Junbei Kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. I'm always doing fine. It's just. I don't like it. Seeing you. Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. I might be tripping, bro. I really might be tripping. But. He's reminded me so much of Pharaoh's. I don't know why. But everything he does makes me think of Pharaoh's. Every time I see him, every time he talks, and the stuff that he says and the way he says it makes me think of Pharaoh. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. Hang yourselves. Summon a persona with a 12 gauge shotgun. <laughs> Not an evoker, a 12 gauge shotgun. Can they make shotgun evokers? Oh, welcome back. Like, can you can you take a 12 gauge and make and turn it into an evoker? So you can like Kurt Cobain a, a persona out? Like just <coughs> And then your persona appears. Could you do that? And, and, could you do that? That's... With all he's been I can understand why he's feeling down. He got really lucky this week though. No one realized he took some days off because everyone was at career experience. Well, I hope he's feeling a little better now. I'm gonna defeat those Traeger guys. I can't take this yeah. anymore. Shut up. How you feel? Don't do it all by yourself. I can't take this anymore. I'm going to defeat Traeger. I guess. Oh. Welcome back. How was your career experience? I prefer routine labor over and over again. Thank you for that, I guess. Hey. Such a drag. Wasn't looking forward to it to begin with, but then what happened with Junpei? I couldn't stop thinking about it. I really hope it'll be okay. Hello. There's a saying, time heals all wounds. Do you think that will apply a pie to Iori? Losing a loved one isn't something you exactly get over, no matter how much time passes. Perhaps it's best to leave him be to figure out his problems for his own. You're right. Right. I feel like Junpei... I'm confident... I know I talk a lot of crap about a lot of these characters, 
But y'all gotta understand, just because I talk crap about a character doesn't mean I don't like them. I like Junpei a lot. I really do like Junpei's character. I'm confident that he's gonna be straight. I'm confident he'll be straight. So, uh... Chidora wouldn't be happy with me if I kept Milkman around like this, huh? You're right. Yeah, I know. I know that. I know I need to move on and I'm trying to forget, but I just can't. Now I know what it's like to have your heart broken. He's got it, bro. I'm confident he's got it. Look at him. He's already making progress. He's got it. I have full confidence in Junpei, respectfully. That's the end of the episode, guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, I'll read them all. My heart is in sh shatters. Strega is officially opposition. I don't care if we don't really need to fight no more. I don't care, though we can't destroy the dark hours, so there's no reason to fight. I don't care about none of that no more, bro. They ops. If I see them, it's on sight. If I see, if I catch them lagging, it's boo boo to the throat, and it's a galio to the testicles. Just like that. Peace out. I love you guys. See y'all next episode. On everything, bro.